So I wouldn't blame you if you haven't heard of Representative Greg Stube, Stubey, S-T-E-U-B, Scooby. Um, he's some backbencher Republican elected to Congress after some time in the state house in Florida. <laughs> he's Florida man, yes. Uh, and I guess some people learned who he was yesterday when during a live hearing by the House Judiciary Committee on gun regulations, he decided to take out and fumble around with his guns in what appeared to be almost a masturbatory way. I'll leave that between him and his doctor and his wife and his God. Um, fumbled around with guns to prove that these new laws were passing. Oh my God, I have this gun and it only takes 10 rounds if if you pass a ban and, and, and the magazine has 20 and I have this gun and this gun has to have a 12 round magazine and it will only take four and just basically sat there and played with his guns um, in a fashion completely inappropriate and obnoxious and insensitive to the people who have been murdered the last couple of weeks and years and decades because of him and his party and states like Florida that led the charge. Uh, when it came to gun violence and and stand your ground, the first stand your ground state. Um, but he's a complete asshat and, uh, you know, that won't shock you. After sitting there and fumbling around with them, Representative Sheila Jackson Lee said, I hope those guns aren't loaded. And of course, his response was, this is my home. I'll do whatever I want. No consideration for the fact that there are other people in his house, potentially. He has a wife. He has kids, I believe. If he picks up the the, the wrong one, the actual magazine that goes into his little masturbatory object, put it in and it goes off, which happens, by the way, in America every day. People have guns come through, bullets come through their windows. It happened to me when I lived in Washington, D.C. once, uh, or come through their their uh, walls. And people, some people actually die from this. Uh, hi, Greg. I'm a former competitive shooter. I spent five summers up in New Hampshire shooting on a team and getting little NRA medals for it, which I should melt down into something useful. Um, in, the, in the 1980s, we were taught gun safety. You didn't sit there and mess around with guns when there were people anywhere in the vicinity. You didn't sit there on camera and promote the stupid use of guns in a way that will harm people, in a way that makes it so it's flippant um, and they're just sort of toys. And you certainly don't do it when people have, have died recently and little kids have been murdered. You know, one time when we were on the range... One of the people on the, on the team that I was on turned around with an unloaded rifle and pointed it towards uh, where the audience would be sitting. There wasn't even anybody there. And he was kicked off the range for the entire summer and told that he would have to come back and pass all sorts of tests the next summer. And these were just six shooting rifles because that's what responsible people do with guns. And that's the problem here is Greg Stube is a moron and he wants morons like himself to be able to put the rest of us in danger with you know, would however many uh, his magazines to take 12, 20, 100 round drum like it was used in Aurora, the mass murder kids. Um, and that's the reason why he I, I don't think you could get a better reason for why we need gun control than this blithering idiot who sat there on video and showed all of us uh, why we need regulations, because we need them for the stupidest people like himself so they can't harm the rest of us. Hey guys, if you like this video, uh, do me a favor, please hit the subscribe button. Please also uh, turn on your notifications. So you'll know when you get more, uh, when I put up more videos. And also, if you could uh, comment and like and maybe remind us why you think Greg Stube, Stub, Scooby-Doo is a complete effing idiot. That would be fun too. Thanks for being here.